Hi everyone, it's Shannon. I am so excited to have you here today. I have 10 really quick and easy Dollar Tree winter DIY projects to share with you. And if you enjoy budget-friendly home decor ideas, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Up first, we're gonna make a snowflake using pieces from the Tumble Tower game that you can find at Dollar Tree. So what I'm doing here is just piecing several of these together, depending on how big you want yours, you'll add more or less. And at the very ends, you're going to offset two of them, and those are gonna give us those snowflake little decorative pieces at the ends. You're gonna to wanna to make three of these total, all identical to each other. Now you can go ahead and finish your snowflake however you want. I wanted mine to have more of a farmhouse look and a weathered wood look, so all of my pieces are getting painted gray first. I'm using the color Elephant by Waverly, which you can find at Walmart. Once I had all of my pieces front and back, painted with the gray. Then I came in with my white chalk paint and sort of dry brushed that on so you could still see some of the gray poking through. Now to put them together, I'm just using my hot glue and layering them, kind of making an X at first and then laying that third one across, centered in the middle. Now we're gonna make some birch style candles using the pillar candles from Dollar Tree. You won't believe how incredibly easy this is and what a realistic effect you're gonna get. So after I unwrapped the candles, you're gonna take a fork and kind of etch in lines going all the way around your candle. So you don't want these to be straight lines. You kind of want them to be wiggly. You want some points to be a little more thick than others. And that's gonna give you that birch style look as we add paint to these and give it a faux finish. And here's a close-up look of those lines, which are kind of hard to see, but once we start adding the paint, they're really gonna pop out. What we're gonna do is add some acrylic paint in the color Traditional Burnt Umber. This is the first layer of paint. You really wanna make sure you get down into those lines that we etched. I'm also coming back in with a paper towel and sort of wiping some of it off because we don't want it to be too dark. And of course, I'm doing this to both of my candles, depending on how many candles you have is how many times you'll have to repeat this process. After your acrylic paint is dried, then we're going to come in with the color Plaster by Waverly. This is another paint you can get from Walmart, and we're going to layer this over the brown paint using a foam paintbrush, and you'll also want to have a toothpick on hand. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm painting on the plaster paint, wiping it off with a paper towel, and then I'm coming back in with that toothpick and kind of digging some of the paint out of those lines so that we can see that darker color popping through.
This snowball wreath is one of my favorites. I'm starting with a willow wreath from Dollar Tree and painting the whole thing white so that once I add my snowballs on here, you're not gonna see any of that natural color that might be exposed as we're creating the wreath. So again, I just used my white chalk paint for that. And then these snowballs, I believe I got from the Target Dollar Spot on clearance one year. They're just basically giant white pom-poms. You could use any size white pom-poms. You can even find smaller ones at Dollar Tree and just cover your entire wreath. Except I did end up coming back and taking off a few of the snowballs so I could leave an empty space. I wanted to add a bow to my wreath so it just kind of left an empty little spot for me to add the ribbon to. I'm also using ribbon from Dollar Tree for this. They have some really great wired ribbon, especially this really pretty chevron print that they have. It has that white on it, so it just helped tie in that winter look. So I tied up a bow and just added that onto my wreath, added a couple little tails on there as well, so it kind of like hung down a little bit. Super cute and simple wreath. And now it is time for emoji of the day. I love this. You guys helped me decorate the comment section so well. So today's emoji is a snowman. So make sure to leave those down in the comment section for me. If you don't have emojis, you can just leave the word snowman. Luminaries are so pretty during the winter months. It makes it a little bit more cozy as this one says on the front. This is a mason jar that actually had this cute lid on it that holds tea lights that I found at Dollar Tree. And it's really, really simple. What I'm doing here is I am adding a vinyl decal to the front that says cozy in the font, the skinny, and just applying it right onto the front. I wanted this to really look like a wintertime luminary. So once I had my decal on there, I actually added some Epsom salt into the inside too. And that actually Actually looks like snow it kind of has a glistening and powdery look like snow does so I just poured some of that right into the bottom popped the top back on and added a tea light I also really love Dollar Tree's craft section. They have some of the cutest signs and this arrow is actually one from their craft section. So of course, this was a great one to add to the winter collection by simply painting it in the same weathered wood kind of fashion as I did the snowflake earlier. So I added gray chalk paint first to the sign and then sparingly added on the white chalk paint on top of it after the gray had dried. I like to do this in two steps. I sort of add a really uh, quick layer first and then I come back in with a darker layer on top of it. And what that does is it just makes it look a lot more weathered whenever you give it a little bit more texture that way. So you have some light points, some dark points, and then you have that pretty gray underneath. Again, I am adding a decal onto the front of this that says winter wishes, but of course you can just use a black marker or a paint pen and write whatever you'd like on the front.
this mirror just really reminded me of a snowflake when I came across it at Dollar Tree and basically all I did was again tape off the middle and come in with my white chalk paint you can see it kind of started like black and silver so it still kind of sort of had a snowflake look but I really wanted mine to be white so after I had the mirror taped off with some painters tape I just took a foam paintbrush and painted the entire thing white Now again, I'm going to be adding a decal onto the mirror part of this uh, that says snow, but some other options would be to just leave it blank completely. It just looks pretty by itself. Or you could use a marker and write whatever you want onto the mirror. Or you could even add a snowflake right onto the front. That would really give it that wintry look. Hot tea, hot cocoa, and coffee are all staples during the winter time for us. So having a mug, one that says cuddle weather on it, actually was a must for me. So this is a mug from Dollar Tree that I'm adding a decal to. I also have a tutorial on how you can use a marker and bake a uh, oil-based marker onto the front of your mugs instead of using decals. And I'll link that tutorial down in the description box below. Mittens are also super cute for the wintertime decor, and these are actually made from a stocking from Dollar Tree. So if you want something that doesn't look so Christmassy, just pick a stocking that maybe is white or gray, and that'll give you more of a winter look versus a Christmas look. So from the inside, I actually cut a template that looked like a mitten out. We're actually going to cut the fur off of the top of this stocking. We're gonna save that and use that a little bit later. So just make sure you cut it off and then set it aside. We're actually going to be cutting the mittens out of the stocking part. So what I'm doing is taking my marker and tracing about a half an inch larger than my template, and I'm cutting out around that marker edge. So I did go ahead and cut out six mittens total and needed two stockings to get this many mittens. We have two parts to each mitten and I'm just hot gluing around the edges and then putting wrong sides together. If you want to sew these, you absolutely can. That's definitely not one of my strong points when it comes to crafting. So I usually just grab my hot glue gun and then once the glue is dry, you can flip them right sides out. This basically is making a nice edge all the, all the way around, but we are leaving the top of the mitten open and you'll see why here shortly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and repeat those steps for the rest of the mittens. I 
And here is where the tops of the stockings come in handy. It's gonna dress up the tops of our mittens. So I'm just cutting rectangles about to the size where I can cover the front using some hot glue to keep them in place. I'm also going to wrap them around to the back and hot glue the ends down. And now we're going to turn this into a garland by taking some string and hot gluing a loop on the inside of our mittens. Those loops are going to be fed onto a longer string and then that is going to become our garland. I would love to know if your area gets snow during the winter time. We live here in Illinois in the Midwest and it's sort of hit or miss here. Sometimes it snows a lot, sometimes we don't get any snow at all and actually this year which is 2020 we have barely had any snow at all, maybe a small dusting. So we are definitely looking forward to a bigger snow which we hope comes later in the season but we may not get any at all so we will just have to wait and see. Now, of course, we need some snowballs in our winter decor, ones that won't melt, which will be handy, and also super duper cute. So we need to kind of make a little stand for our snowballs to hang from because we are going to be adding some texture to them and they're going to have to dry. So what I'm doing here is I have some pretty large uh, paper clips from Dollar Tree and I am feeding a styrofoam ball onto it and leaving that hook there at the top. And this is what we're going to be adding to the styrofoam. It's called Snow Tex. You can find this at the craft store. I'm going to be applying it with my foam paintbrush. Now I just hung a string from my kitchen cabinet knobs to hang these snowballs from onto the paper clips as you can see here that way they don't lay flat on a tabletop and then you don't lose the texture that you just added. So these do need to kind of dry for I would say at least an hour but overnight would probably be better. So now you can display your snowballs however you want. I'm gonna share with you how I decorated mine up for display. I had this metal bucket on hand and I just took some black chalk paint and added a couple coats in a square onto the front to kind of make it look like a chalkboard. Once it was dry, I used a white paint pen and wrote on their snowballs $1 each and just kind of piled the snowballs into the bucket.
Next, you can use this for a vase or a luminary, and I'm using a glass cylinder vase from Dollar Tree, taking some painter's tape and taping off just part of the bottom and leaving the probably two thirds of the top um, unpainted. I'm using my white chalk paint and painting that bottom portion. I let that dry and then painted it one more coat. I really wanted this to look like a snowy winter scene, so I added a deer uh, stencil onto the front. His feet were sort of still touching the white part that I had painted, and I unfortunately lost the footage to the part where I added the stencil to the front. So this is me actually removing that stencil, but you'll see as I remove it that the deer actually looks like he's standing in the snow once the stencil is removed. I have so many more winter and seasonal DIYs and budget-friendly decor ideas coming shortly here in the new year, so I'd love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. I'll also have more inspirational videos popping up on your screen that you can check out next. I want to thank you all so, so much for joining me in today's video. I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting!